Hey sweet friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Maylene from Mrs. Calls Campers. If you're new here, I am a teacher who moved from Tennessee to California because my husband is in the military. So all of that information is on my channel. Um, if you've been following along with me, you know I don't have a job yet in California, but I do have awesome news and we are gonna get to the grocery shopping, but I did wanna share this with you guys because you have been so incredibly supportive. But my credential got approved in California, which is such a huge step. The only thing I have left to do is get my EL authorization and find a job for August. Until then, I'm going to be subbing. I'm leaving my county's Office of Education right now. Spoke with someone, she gave me a lot of great information, made sure my credential was good and all of that. So that is super, super exciting. I have all the feels right now. I wanted to cry just walking out of that office because everything is finally falling into place. Um, I just made a post on Instagram kind of talking about it more, so if you're not following me there, let's chat. So as far as grocery shopping goes, my husband and I just got back from basically like a week-long um, trip to Disney. is more like a family trip. We had a ton of fun, but you never want to leave food rotting in your fridge when you go. So we, you know, ate as much as we could. We cleared everything out. So there's a couple of things I do before I go grocery shopping. The first thing is I make a grocery list. I make a monthly like meal plan thing. I didn't really do this in December just because December felt crazy to me, y'all. I don't know. But I'll go ahead and put on screen what I kind of mapped out for the remainder of January as far as our dinners go. I always just try to put our dinners in a calendar. That way I kind of know what I'm shopping for. Um, yeah, so <laughs> that's what that looks like. And then I go ahead and make a grocery list. Um, this is the grocery list that I'm going off of today. I am going to try to go buy like five different stores, hopefully just four, but if I need to go to Walmart, I will. So this is the grocery <laughs> list that I'm going to be shopping for today um, and of course I'll probably pick up a few extra things and the last thing I do is I take a picture of my fridge and my pantry just so when I'm at the store if I'm like oh wait am I out of jelly do we need mustard I don't even eat mustard but then I have it there ready to go so that's a big tip so the first place we're gonna go is Target pretty much the only thing I need to get from Target is sparkling water so let's go So I'm not here for any like actual groceries, but I am just gonna grab these baby carrots for 99 cents just to snack on today because I didn't bring a lunch because I didn't have any food, so. So these are for John. He also said he wanted mango, but they just have this, so that's what I'm gonna get. I probably have carrots all in my teeth, <laughs> but I have arrived at Sam's Club. My goal is to get broccoli. I think that's it. <laughs> so if you've never been to Sam's before, um, or you're from another country, this is just basically a place that you can buy food in bulk. Usually, I come here for bulk chicken, bulk broccoli, um, turkey burgers, and it's really awesome when they have all that in stock, but when they don't have it in stock, it's just kind of annoying because I purchased a lot of broccoli, a lot of chicken, so kind of a bust today, but we're going to like 100 more stores anyway. <laughs> also, I thought it was worth mentioning that this cardigan that I'm wearing today is super cozy, and it's actually from Sam's Club too. So we're at Sprouts, I have my list pulled up. I am basically going to be in the produce section. I love getting my produce from Sprouts. It always looks really, really nice. Um, other than that, I think I'm just gonna get the tiramisu and maybe steak. <laughs>
All right, Sprouts is done. I got most of the produce that I need, and I also picked up some steaks and Parmesan cheese, like I said. Um, and I also got two new reusable bags. So this says turnip fillet, and then saved by the bell pepper. And I thought they were cute. The bags I have now um, are like fall themed. They have like, like a little fox on there. I don't know if you can tell. And I love them, but I just wanted more. So I got a couple of those. Um, and now we're headed to Trader Joe's, which is my favorite stop. So these two chips are actually my two favorites. So I'm gonna get both. They're actually not like ghost pepper hot, but they're still really, really good. I'm not getting this, but it's super good. And I always get two of these every time I come. I love to get these, and since Sprouts didn't have the tiramisu, I'm just gonna go ahead and get these. We just eat the chocolate and vanilla, but they're like mini. This is something else that I always get from Trader Joe's. They are $1.99, um, but they're French green beans, and they're really, really thin, but I already have two bags of this at home, so I don't need it. All right, Trader Joe's is done. There were definitely a lot of things that I wanted to get, like eucalyptus and other snacky type things, but I didn't. I'm trying to stick to my list this time, so now I need to head home, go to Walmart, finish up my list, and then I'll show you what I got. Walmart is just where I always get my spinach, 2.38, uh, but I usually always check to find like the latest dates on all of them, so I'll like go to like the way back. If you're like me and you like cooking um, like Asian food at home, I'm gonna show you my favorite thing to put on there. Sesame oil is like the best thing for Asian food. So next time you're at the store, if you don't have it, and you like to cook Asian food, you need to get some sesame seed oil. We used to get a lot of like these sauces that are thicker, but I found that I really don't miss them at all, so. This is interesting, fried rice seasoning, garlic powder, sugar, spices, and salt. I wonder if that's good. I kinda wanna try it. <laughs> also, I thought I would show you guys this. This is an inventory robot, and I guess it just like scans everything as it goes down the aisle. But it turned around because I'm standing right here. <laughs> I'm also not getting these right now, but they're like my favorite snack to have um, with just some peanut butter. And John likes the white cheddar and the caramel. These ones are pretty good too. Um, but this has been like my saving grace for trying to be like healthy, but still like snacky. I also love these crinkle cut sweet potato fries. They're by this brand. Um, but they're the cheapest at Walmart, so I always get them here. And these are really great for days when I don't really have a side, like other than vegetables, and I want to spice it up, so. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get maybe like just two of these for now, maybe three, I'm 
not really sure. And then finally, one of my favorite things to get at Walmart is just these bulk eggs. So they're $8.44 for 60 of them. Um, and I feel like they used to be a little bit cheaper, but I still get it. It's so easy. I go through so many eggs, so. Also, now that Jen's working overnight, um, he works till like three or four in the morning. He has been liking this stuff, which I like it too. So I'm just probably gonna get, I don't know, I might get three. I'm just trying to think if it'll fit in our fridge. <laughs> So this is what my trunk looks like minus the eggs. Dang it, I was just pulling out of Walmart and realized that I forgot the rotisserie chicken. So back into Walmart we go. Okay, we've got the chicken. I bought like a bigger rotisserie chicken just because I wanna make sure we have leftovers for tomorrow. And I've barely eaten anything all day except for like half a bag of baby carrots some almonds and a kind bar. I accidentally filled this with like soda water, I think at Sam's Club, so I didn't get to drink my protein shake, so I'm hungry. I called John, he is preparing a pan of broccoli in the oven, so as soon as I go home, show you what I got, put it away, I can eat. So I'm just gonna take you store by store and show you everything we got. So Target was the first stop and I got these two sparkling waters, and then from Sam's Club, all I got was these turkey burgers. Then from Sprouts, I got more sparkling water, bananas, onions, garlic, celery, strawberries, some of these little chocolate covered cherry candies that I like. I only got a couple. And then I got one orange pepper, four red peppers, some black grapes, some Parmesan cheese, and some steak. Then from Trader Joe's, I got two spaghetti squashes, some baby carrots, some whole carrots for John's chili, some snacky items, I got some chicken sausage, some salami, pancetta, everything but the bagel seasoning, and then some spicy hummus dip also for John. And this is everything I got from Walmart. I went ahead and got three of these iced coffees, two things of spinach, some bread, some peppers for John's chili, cilantro, some thin pasta, and then I got half and half corn, soy sauce, teriyaki sauce, sesame seeds, fried rice seasoning, this stuff for John's chili, three big bags of frozen broccoli, some sweet potato fries, and a head of cauliflower, and of course this chicken. Okay, so one thing I had to show you guys was that when I get done grocery shopping and I come home, if it needs to be prepped or put into containers, I do it immediately. Otherwise, I get lazy and it won't get done. I'm just being honest. It makes it so much easier when I'm going to snack on something. And you know, I thought for a while that it would make my food go bad quicker, like pulling the grapes off and washing everything, but it really doesn't. Plus, I use these amazing containers from Rubbermaid. Oh my gosh, I love them so much. And I will just get everything ready and then if I'm, you know, sitting on the couch or doing something, I'll pull out a container of fruit or I'll pull out a container of veggies and it just makes my life just so much easier. So I just wanted to give you an overview of what our fridge looks like when it's like fully stocked. Um, this area is usually where our meal prep stuff goes. Sometimes I'll throw I'll move these around back here and put the spinach up here if we have like a lot of meal prep going on but if not then I just make sure everything is accessible. Then I've got our vegetable drawer in here. We have John Sparkling Waters. I'm not going to do like a full tour of like everything that I have because I am going to be doing a kitchen tour. Um, this is what we have in our freezer. Most of our meals are made from chicken and broccoli because it's easy and cheap. And then all the other things are pretty much up here. So that's just a really quick overview. And I forgot to mention this bottom drawer has like meats and then just like other things. This is some 
ground turkey that we're thawing. John's gonna use in his chili and I'm just gonna cook it. So that was my grocery haul. Thank you guys for coming shopping with me. My shopping trips do not always look like this and I just wanted to say that I do not go to five stores every single time I grocery shop I feel like I'm probably just like you where you know some of the things that I need overlap so some weeks I'll have more of one thing and less of another thing um, usually I would say we go to at least two stores when we go grocery shopping most of the time I really do just go to Walmart because they have really cheap prices but their produce is not the best quality and I love the variety that Trader Joe's has so if we ever make a trip out to Trader Joe's, we usually go to Trader Joe's and Sprouts. And then um, the rest of the time, if we're at Target, you know, we're at Target, we pick a couple things up. If we're at Walmart, we're at Walmart, and we pick a couple things up. I always post pictures of my grocery hauls on Instagram. So if you're not following me on Instagram, head on over there. In my hauls highlight is where I've saved all of my grocery hauls, and I tell you where they're from. Um, so you can get a pretty good idea of our staples or things that we buy most of the time but I always get the same question how much money do you spend um, how can you afford to go grocery shopping so much and how much we spend on groceries really does vary um, we try to be good but at the same time if there's something else that we want to try or that we want to get we usually do get that thing I do try to keep our fridge and our pantry stocked up on things that we eat often that way i'm not having to buy so many of those things all the time so usually like if something goes on sale i get a bunch of it like my kind bars that i love so much um but sometimes you do just have those larger trips i also feel like a big part of why we go grocery shopping so often is just because i've started to be eating healthier and those healthy ingredients are not going to last as long as like <laughs> a box of mac and cheese in your pantry um so you know i buy two bags of spinach every like two weeks ish i usually make my eggs in the morning with like two or three cups of spinach in them i add peppers and things um so there's things that we're using on a daily basis and then there's things like fruit which are not gonna last more than two weeks anyway so we're at the store often and i'm really a sucker for oh that looks good let's try it so that kind of that kind of adds to it but i showed you in the beginning of the video how i kind of had the list going in which is really really helpful if you're not making grocery lists you must really trust yourself. Um, the second thing that really, really helps me is taking a picture of my fridge, taking a picture of my pantry so I always know. The third thing that helps me is actually planning out my meals. So I use the GoodNotes app on my iPad and I showed you this in the beginning. They do have like a monthly template. So this like calendar is like a monthly template and I just write on it and I try to map out our meals and this isn't something that I do every month. I didn't do it for December, but it makes shopping way easier. <laughs> and it's very simple to say that, but like nobody does it. Nobody does this anymore, do they? Do you do this? Let me know. And the other thing, another thing that I do that makes the monthly meal planning easier is I, <laughs> This is gonna sound kind of obnoxious, but I created kind of like a little menu. So it's just like things that we like to eat. So I have appetizers, sides, and then I break it down into like pasta, chicken, steak, pork, American. So I kind of have like a little menu of things that we just like to make so that when I am doing my monthly you know meal layout plan I can just look at that menu if I need ideas and I also keep a copy of that menu in my phone in my reminders app I use the built-in reminders app on my iPhone and then I have a shopping list and on that list I have a reminder called menu and I just added a picture to that reminder so I can tap it and it'll pull up that menu that I had already created so I save that um, and then I saved kind of like a little meal plan so I was doing this workout program and you're supposed to have like a meal plan with it. Um, so based on like what they told me, I kind of created one and just to use as like a reference in case if ever like, what should I eat for lunch? Um, so I keep those two things in my reminders in my shopping app. So if I'm ever at the grocery store and I need anything at all, I can just tap on those images and see them. And then the grocery shopping list that you guys saw at the beginning, this one, I just wrote that up on my iPad and then airdropped it to my phone to take to the store with me. Um, I kind of go back and forth on whether I like printing grocery lists and because this was such a big trip, I really wanted to like section out everything I needed because we were restocking on a lot of things. But otherwise, I do just list everything I need in that shopping app as it comes up. So if I wake up one morning, I'm like, hey, we're out of milk or just add it. We don't even buy milk. 
you know what I mean. Okay, I am rambling. I'm gonna show you what I spent on today's shopping trips and kind of break it down to different categories so you can see how much I'm spending on what. But just keep in mind, um, you know, things like frozen chicken are not on there. I already was stocked up on that. Um, that's like $15, I think, for one of those big bags. Yeah, there's just things that are not gonna be on there, but this is what I spent this trip. This is what I spent at each store for a grand total of $175, which I actually feel like is pretty good. So I don't always do this, but I thought it would be fun. So 30% of my budget went to meat, not surprised there. 26% of my budget went to vegetables. Meat and veggies are my highest categories for good reason. It's pretty much what we eat. Um, and then my other category is things like bread and soy sauce and like all those dry things that we get. So that was 15%. The drinks category is pretty much there for John. That's 14%. And then the snacks category was only 8%, which I'm really, really proud of because I was like, three things and then fruit was six percent and I know it looks bad that it's at the bottom but fruit is really cheap and also I do have to go to the store more for fresh fruit throughout the month so that explains that if you want to see what my normal everyday shopping trips look like go to my Instagram they're all saved in the hauls highlights I saved my meals there for you guys too I'm also filming a video I currently have three meals that I filmed and it's going to be like our favorite meals to cook video so they're not like the healthiest meals but they are meals that we love to cook and that are really really delicious so that video is going to be going up on my channel when I have a couple of more meals prepared so I'll edit that video into one so it'll be a bunch of different meals and then I also mentioned I was doing a workout program I finished it I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts with you guys on that um, it is like a beach body program so I'm just gonna say that right now I'm not a coach or anything but I will be posting those videos just giving you my honest opinions so if there's anything that you guys have questions about or I didn't explain enough let me know in the comments or you can reach out to me on Instagram I respond to every single person still so thank you guys so much for watching thank you for your support and if you missed the announcement in the beginning of the video, I did get my credential for California. It's finally been approved. The only thing you need now is an EL authorization for English language learners. Um, and then I have to do like new teacher inductions and things like that. But yeah, everything is going well. And this video is rambly and long and I love you guys. And I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>